We like the, the free form. It's a Jackson Pollock of pot pies. Mike Romanja, courageous cooking in a crab kitchen. <sighs> leftovers. Don't be ashamed of your leftovers. Make something beautiful out of them. My producer and I, we cleaned out our refrigerators. She had some chicken curry and some cauliflower. I had some mushrooms and chicken stock and leftover chicken. And uh, what I decided is that I'm gonna give these leftovers some love and make pot pie out of them. All you need is leftovers, a crust, and some mirepoix. I am gonna make a chicken pot pie, which is classic. I had some leftover chicken, so I'm just chopping it up to pieces that are bite size. I've got mirepoix. Now mirepoix is onions, celery, and carrots. It's a trinity of flavors that is the base for almost everything delicious. Every soup, every sauce, mirepoix is onions, celery, carrots, simple. I've got some mushrooms, I've got leftover stock, I'm gonna use a little flour and a little butter to make a roux, which I'll show you how that works. And we're gonna just put it all together, put a pie crust on it. Now this is a store-bought crust that you can use if you don't have puff pastry, which I happen to have because I'm a pastry chef. My mirepoix has been sauteing in butter and I'm adding the mushrooms. Basically everything that goes into a pot pie is already cooked before you put it in the oven, which is why leftovers work so well but um, you wanna get anything that's fresh, like the mushrooms, to sweat out most of their moisture. So I'm adding a little Herbs de Provence, which is a wonderful spice mix that has thyme and marjoram and oregano. I mean, there's different Herbs de Provence, but most of them have a lovely mixture of things that go really well with poultry. So let's talk about roux. Roux is a mixture of flour and fat in this case, butter, because I've got butter in the pan, and everything's sweating, and I'm just gonna take some flour and sprinkle it on my veg. And you don't wanna do it raw. I mean, it, what I mean by that is that you wanna cook the flour just a little bit so that it doesn't taste raw. And then we're going to add my chicken broth, which is going to make a lovely thick, delicious base. Now, if you were using the chicken curry that was already in a sauce, you don't even have to make this sauce. That's the wonderful thing about leftovers. If you got something that's already saucy, just throw it in a pan and put some crust over it and bake it. I buttered my pie pan. I've got my puff pastry ready to go. I've got an egg wash ready to brush on top. I'm gonna go get my Fabulous filling. My oven is heated to 375, so it's ready to receive. Holy foam. It already smells like Thanksgiving dinner because of the, the herbs de Provence and the mirepoix. <sighs> okay, now puff pastry you have to work quickly with because it needs to be cold. Because the butter, you don't want the butter to be melted until it hits. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna tuck this on the sides there. I'm gonna give it a little stretch. This is my homemade puff pastry, which was a labor of love, let me tell ya. All right, I'm gonna brush it with a little egg wash. Egg wash is just literally egg and a little pinch of salt, but it gives it a nice golden color. Let's put a little hole there. Doesn't wanna go in, there you go. Just a little hole for steam. She's gonna go in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. Let's take a, oh, look at that. She got all puffy and happy. Oh, wow. A little wonky shaped, but that's okay. Kinda looks like the United States of America. <laughs> that is giving your leftovers some love and respect. I can't wait to dive in, but I gotta wait till it cools. Mike Romanja, courageous cooking in a crab kitchen.